Hello guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the garage. So tonight is an exciting night. Um, I just got back, as you guys saw, with the truck and the trailer. We had to go pick up our next big modification for the race truck. So this winter we four-linked the truck, um, and then we did some other stuff. We got fiberglass doors for the truck, but we have one more big project. Well, it's actually kind of like two more big projects, but it's in the same realm of stuff. Um, so that is what is in the crate behind me on the trailer. We had it delivered to dad's shop because he has pallet forks. He's around to offload it. But the uh, crate was a little more sizable than he had anticipated. And anyway, we went and picked it right up to get it out of his hair. So big shout out to my father. Thank you, appreciate you doing that. Um, it was a little bit of a pain for him too because the truck that showed up had stuff in the way. So yeah, I was just, it was a whole thing. That's what I was told. But anyway, Dad, thanks. Appreciate it. So anyway, guys, without further ado, let's get the openness crate up. I know you guys are going to be excited about it. I know a lot of you have already kind of figured out what it is. But anyway, let's get to looking at this stuff, and uh, we'll get to talking all about it once we get it uncrated. So everybody, we have more fiberglass. So we have a fiberglass front clip, fiberglass bed sides, and a fiberglass tailgate. I'm probably not gonna end up using the tailgate, at least not right away. Um, I just kinda got it, cause the guy said, um, with the bed sides you get a tailgate, or you know, he'd take an X amount off if I didn't want it. But I was like, hey, you know what, fiberglass tailgate, we'll put it up on the wall or something, you know, it was uh, pretty inexpensive. But yeah, we have, Two bedsides, eight foot bedsides. Um, we will have to cut a hole for our um, rear tires and all that, just to get those all set, situated. But I'm definitely digging how these turned out. These come from Brothers Racing Bodies. Um, he had a thing. Yeah. Brothers Racing Bodies, right there in Oklahoma. So what he does is he does a lot of um, like monster truck stuff and stuff like that so i decided i decided to go with brothers racing bodies rather than gts fiberglass that we did our doors through because they both kind of told me they were like six to eight weeks out it'd be sometime in february so i kind of decided to um hedge my bet a little um gts offers doors for these trucks brothers does not so i figured if we get the doors from gts and we get the rest of the stuff from brothers maybe we'll have stuff show up at different times and we can kind of keep completing these projects rather than waiting like an extra week to get it all from the same person which ended up working out so we are able to get our doors fully installed other than our inside door handles and then this stuff showed up today so another thing i like the fact that i could get white fiberglass so i thought the truck would look pretty cool just having you know white front right white rear and then having the black doors and the black roof eventually the truck will probably get vinyl wrapped but that's the least of my concerns with everything one thing to note about these brothers racing bodies uh panels i feel that they are a little thicker than gts stuff um, now that being said i really don't have any experience with the front clips or the bed sides from gts um, but as far as our doors go this these panels are definitely a lot a um, lot thicker a lot sturdier if we look at our door it kind of flexes a bit but yeah uh the finish is fantastic i love i love it i mean it looks like it's been painted white that turned out phenomenal now some of the edges like um around our wheel well here is a little rougher um and the cow as you guys can see so we'll kind of have to clean that up like we did some of our door stuff it's not a big deal but it's definitely a little bit rougher than the tts doors were once again i don't really have an experience with any other fiberglass stuff um but yeah like i said this stuff is pretty thick it's pretty sturdy um definitely a little heavier than i thought it would be but as you guys can see i really didn't have a problem picking up the front clip um but that being said it's 
you know, putting it on and off the truck is obviously going to be a two-person chore. Um, for the most part, we're definitely going to try and figure out how to do it by ourselves in the garage because, well, you guys know me. That's kind of just what I do. So, yeah, I, I guess I should probably weigh this stuff just so I can report to you guys what it is. It's definitely going to be a bit of an adventure figuring out how these, you know, how to attach all this stuff and all that. But, you know, with the bed sides, now we won't have to to have our full bed frame and all that. We'll have these, we'll make them so we can remove them if we have to do work on the truck or what have you. But yeah, that that front clip, I mean, just the finish alone, I'm glad I got this. It's, it just, it, it just pops so much more than this basic black um, that you get. Um, but once again, we're gonna have to do a little bit extra work. Um, another thing to note too, the price on the stuff from um, Brothers, is a lot cheaper um it's about half the price for the front clip than gts now the only problem with that is he's a bit further away from me he's in oklahoma so that made shipping that and you had to have this big crate shipped so shipping was more pricing pricey so it ended up coming out to being a wash whether we went with gts or we went with brothers as far as getting our panels they all ended up about the same price if you're within driving distance though you would be able to save a good bit on a front clip um, by going with Brothers. Like I said, a little bit more work cleaning up our edges it's gonna be, but other than that, I think it's a pretty solid piece. I really would like to compare it with the GTS stuff just to see what I think of as far as like, you know, the sturdiness of it and all that. But first impressions, I'm pretty excited. Like I said, we got a little extra work to do, but it's no big deal. I mean, look at that thing. It just, it just looks good um and that's the other thing the truck's now going to look like a 1500 so really these trucks you know the front ends of the um fourth gen trucks 1500s and uh 1500s and then the heavy duties they're actually pretty much the same front end you need a a different hood and a different grill um but like the fenders are all the same and all that but it doesn't really matter hopefully we'll be going fast enough that nobody cares but uh yeah i'm digging it it's it's not going to look bad at all that's going to look sharp um yeah that it, it just it just pops i mean look how shiny it is and really like i said the edges you know that's that needs cleaned up like i keep saying but the rest of it the finish looks pretty good now we are in the dark but i mean like all the lines and all look great um this thing's just gonna look good so I'll grab the uh, the old bathroom scale. We'll weigh this stuff. I want to say that this probably weighed 70 pounds. That's my guess. Um, I'm not going to weigh the tailgate. Nobody cares. And bedside, 50. I'm not sure. Um, but I'll get the bathroom scale. We'll weigh this stuff and see what they weigh. Three pounds so 33 pounds we got to cut out a wheel well so figure about 30 pounds of bedside I don't know what sheet metal bedsides weigh but all right 30 pounds of bedside so we have 60 pounds of bed bedsides The things I do for you guys. That, that thing, that thing's not heavy. It's just so awkward. Um, anyway, um, so, so 63, or no, 62 pounds is what the front clip weighed. So it's a little less than I thought. It's just so big, 
you, you know, and it, you can't sit it this way because of the little fender pieces. It's just awkward. But so 63 pounds, we got 60 pounds in bed size. We're talking about 120 pounds worth of uh, material. So, and like I said, I don't know what steel stuff weighs. I think our hood is probably 100 pounds in itself. Plus our bumper is probably around 100 pounds. So we definitely got some weight savings there. We can also lose some more metal in the front and all that. Now, about adapting this thing to the truck, I haven't quite figured that out yet. Um, it's gonna take some doing. I've talked to a couple people about different things. While I was at the shop, dad was showing me uh, his Pete and the Kenworth that were there. Um, just show me how they're hinged. You know, one of them has an aluminum hood, one has a fiberglass hood, but just how they're hinged on the front and then they have centering pins. So I don't know all that. What I would like to do is kind of make it so I can tilt the hood or I can just take it off. I don't want to have to be constrained to one way or the other. Um, so I have seen other ones where you can pull them forward and then tilt them which then your little fender pieces on the side would miss your doors. So I got fiberglass in me, um, but yeah. So anyway, I definitely dig the, the, the finish on the outside of these things. It is phenomenal. But like I said, Brothers Racing Bodies um, in uh, Oklahoma, Miami, Oklahoma. Once again, um, Sean at, at Brothers was great to deal with and Greg at GTS were both great to deal with. Um, as far as customer service goes, those guys are top notch. Any question I had, you know, no problem. They did exactly what they said they were gonna do time, fr time frame wise and all that. So I gotta figure out what my next step is. And uh, I really wanna see it on the truck, but I don't know if I can manage that myself. Let me think that over. Well, after a bit of deliberation, I think you guys know what's gonna happen. I want to see this on there or at least try see if i can get it on there myself so we got to take off the hood take off the bumper we got to remove the headlight the hood stack has to come out the fender has to come out pretty much we just got to strip the whole front of the truck again um shouldn't take too much but we'll get that all off and i'll see if i can figure out how to set that on here like i said it's not that it's heavy it's only like 65 pounds or 62 pounds or whatever it was the problem is it's just so big and awkward and you can't really, you know, there's no handle on it. So anyway, let's get the strip in the front end of this thing and uh, see if we can lay that bad boy on there. So we have a half ton. Um, I got the fiberglass on. It actually wasn't that big a pain. I just kind of had my, uh, you know, moving blanket here, and I put a piece of cardboard down. I was able to just slide it off the trailer, kind of slide it up and on. Um, it's kind of got me thinking with our hinge setup. You know, if I carry a piece of carpet or something with me, um, we can, you know, tilt it forward, and if we make our hinge in a way that it can set on the ground in the front and then you know unclip it or whatever we do because it definitely hangs down low enough to make that possible but it it i mean it looks like a truck again um yeah i definitely am digging the white it's looking good now we are going to have to uh address some some issues with the panel gaps you know just kind of clean things up straighten these up we got to make some of our edges work but other than that, I mean, I'm happy with how it looks. I think it looks looks pretty mean from the front. Uh, if you had some stickers and all, we'd be able to make some fake headlights and all that. But we're not going to worry about that stuff. All the body lines are there. I mean, it's it's looking pretty gnarly. We have to straighten up our cowl up here, but I like how it has the cowl coming up, um, cover up that area that we had cut out previously. But yeah, she's she's looking proper again. Huh, man. It's amazing what a front clip will do. <laughs> um, we will also have to cut out the grill holes so that way we can uh, 
you know, have some flow to our inner core and all that. But yeah, she's looking good. It's just sitting on this um, little step stool I got with a couple of spacers and then it's just resting on the body itself of the truck. Um, I mean, looking under here, not really anything to see, but yeah, definitely, uh, definitely makes it, I don't know, I'm excited. Look at that thing. It, uh, it's starting to come together, starting to come together. It looked great with the Hoosiers on there. But yeah, so we, uh, we about have a truck again, at least in, at least in looks. And I say about, we got all the pieces to do it. This is gonna take definitely a good bit of thought and figure out exactly what we wanna do. I know you guys build like an inner structure with metal and all that. This is gonna be a big learning process, that's for sure. Um, yeah, if we could get had something to hold the bedside up, we'd have a, a nice looking truck here to the side. <laughs> So anyway, guys, our front clips here. I'm excited. Um, uh, this is going to be awesome. It's going to require a little work, but it is what it is. It's not a big deal. We can make it fit uh, perfect and then figure out exactly how my hinge setup is going to work. I have a bit of an idea in my head, but I got to look over it, take some measurements, all that. I really don't know exactly how this whole process is going to go whether I get the body lines probably to made up right and all that first and then figure that all out. I don't know. Um, like I said, a bit of a learning process. So uh, I'm excited. I hope you guys are. Let me know what you think of the look of the truck um, with the new 1500 front end and our fiberglass uh, clip. Yeah, that, man, it looks sharp. Um, I'm digging it. I really am. I'm glad I went with the white. Uh, it just, I mean, the thing's all nice and shiny now. Uh, <laughs> yeah, wow, that thing's uh, things looking good, that's for sure. I'm digging it, I'm digging it. Yeah, I, I don't know what to say to tell you the truth, guys. I don't know, I'm kind of at a loss. Um, I think it looks awesome. It's gonna be a lot more work, but once we get this front clip sorted out, and I think I'm kind of working in my head how I will be able to make it removable um, by myself, because that whole process right there wasn't too terribly difficult but we will figure that all out in due time. So I don't know if we're gonna be getting the mounting this stuff here like right now. Uh, well, obviously we're not doing it right now, but I don't know whether it'll be this week, next week or what, but that's the front clip. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. I appreciate it. Let me know what you think of the front end, the 1500 front end and all that. So anyway, guys, I'm excited. I hope you are too. So please like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Get out in your garage, get the wrenching on your truck.